After our overview in applied machine learning processes, I want to briefly talk about deployment of machine learning models in more detail. Obviously, this video will be just a very short overview and the topic of deployment could very much be its own course entirely. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. Deploying a machine learning model is usually led by quite some discussions beforehand. As mentioned in the previous video, many different departments will want to have a say in what they expect or want to avoid. Once again, a special focus will be on legal terms and anything related to data regulations and data protection laws. After a successful round of discussions, you will then finally have to decide on how to deploy your machine learning models. The most common methods are using your machine learning models for batch prediction, also called offline model deployment, making the model available in an on-demand prediction mode, using web services for deployment, or deploying the machine learning model on edge devices. Now, this selection does not include every possible method of deploying a model, but it should give you a good idea of what can be done. Let's start with the offline method, using a model for batch predictions. As the name suggests, we will not put our model onto any online services or servers, but keep it tight and close in our very own environment. If a department or client then wants to generate predictions, data is collected, typically using standard ETL processes, which is short for Extract, Transform, Load, and fed into the model. The generated predictions are then processed according to the client's needs and transferred back. This method might seem slow for the user, and, well, it also kinda is, but the main benefit of this method is that you can use simple models as well as highly complex models that require a lot of computational power. As you are not dependent on the hardware requirements of your user or any online services and connection speed, this is the preferred option for large-scale models that require more time than others to compute predictions. But what if you want to avoid setting up all of the ETL processes or just simply do not have the correct environment to handle this kind of data flow? Or if you want to give your user the freedom to use the model whenever they want without having to wait for the data to be collected? This idea of on-demand prediction is typically realized using web services. Simply said, you put your model onto a web service platform such as Microsoft Azure or Amazon Web Services or any other solution and prepare the necessary scripts to process incoming and outgoing data. A user can then simply input some data into the web service and wait for the response of the model. Depending on the complexity of your model, the user might have to wait a bit for the prediction result. But as web services also come with some latency, it is best to not use the biggest and most complex models for this kind of service. In some cases, it might even be required to send a response within a given amount of time to be competitive, so keep that in mind. We have moved on a step closer to the user, but we can go even further. Deploying machine learning models on edge devices is as close as we can get. Any computation of the prediction is done on the edge device itself, which can be any Internet of Things or mobile device. This is usually done if you want to keep the latency between sending data and receiving predictions as low as possible. An example for this are self-driving cars. Imagine you are sitting in a self-driving car where the data you collect is the imagery in front of you and around the car. If you now need to first send the data to some web service and wait for the response before your car decides whether or not to take a turn, it could potentially cause quite some inconvenience. Therefore, the computation is usually done on a chip built into the car itself. The low response time, however, comes with even more restrictions on computational power. So you need to make some decisions on available computational power for the edge device in relation to its cost and how much is actually needed for the task at hand. In general, you will need to think about certain topics when deciding which deployment method is the best for your model. Some of them are the frequency of predictions, meaning how often will a user ask for a prediction, and how much time a prediction takes to compute and deliver to the user. Another important aspect, of course, is also how long the user is willing to wait. Together with hardware and infrastructure requirements and all of the aspects related to computational power, you will then have to look at the advantages and disadvantages of available deployment methods and find the best fit for your case. And on that note, we have reached the end of this module, where we talked about bias and fairness in machine learning, legal implications, how to design a machine learning model, and also how to deploy it in practice. While this module could only provide a brief overview of all of these topics, you should now have an idea on where to start looking at and what might be important for you when using machine learning.